Hi, F5. Um, we're going to look today at pronouns and reflexive pronouns. Before we have a look at that, you need to remember that pronouns represent nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing. So a noun is a person, place, or thing, and a pronoun represents that noun. Let's have a look. What are pronouns? Um, can you give some examples of pronouns? He, for example, he, we, she, I, us. Pronouns take the place of nouns. The word or phrase replaced by a noun is called an antecedent. So I hope you learned something new today. The word or phrase replaced by pronoun is called an antecedent. For example, Thanksgiving is one of America's holidays. It is celebrated in November. Can you spot the pronoun in these two sentences? Thanksgiving is one of America's holidays. It is celebrated in November. Thanksgiving is a noun. It is a pronoun that refers to the antecedent. Antecedent's just the noun, guys. So Thanksgiving is our noun or antecedent. It is the pronoun. For example, when Robert was fixing the car, he cut his hand. Robert is a noun. He is a pronoun that refers to the antecedent. Remember, Robert is the antecedent. Personal pronouns refer to people or things and they include I, me, my, mine, you, your, yours, he, him, his, she, hers, hers, it, it's, they, them, their, theirs, we, us, our, ours. For example, he took her place in the game. Their main objective is to scare students. Um, today we're going to be looking at something new, so that was just a bit of revision. Today we're looking at reflexive pronouns. Reflective, reflexive pronouns end in self or selves. Can you start to think of some examples? These might include myself, himself. I'm going to pause the video now, see if you can think of what other reflexive pronouns there would be. There are some that are singular and some that are plural. These are the other reflexive pronouns. Myself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, and themselves. Remember, reflexive pronouns end in self or selves. And they refer to either the noun, the antecedent, or the pronoun, which can also be the antecedent. A reflexive pronoun has its antecedent as the subject of the sentence. It completes the meaning of a sentence and generally cannot be left out. Burton knows himself very well. Himself is a reflexive pronoun. Burton is the noun or the antecedent. Did you teach yourself music? You is the antecedent. You is the noun. You is also a pronoun. Yourself is a reflexive pronoun because it can refer back to another pronoun. In this case, you. Does that make sense? So these reflexive pronouns don't always refer back to a noun. Sometimes they re refer to another pronoun. Uh, some rules that you need to remember. Do not use reflexive and intensive is just reflexive. Do not use reflexive pronoun forms in place of personal pronouns. For example... Ron and I repaired the lamp. Do not say, Ron and myself repaired the lamp. It's incorrect. For example, this is between you and me. Not, this is between yourself and myself, or this is between you and myself, or any combination of those. Never ever use the word his self or their selves. It is himself and themselves. These are not real words. Your turn. Hubert is the antecedent. It's a boy's name. Hubert found, fill in the blank, in the middle of a flood. The oven cleaned. The oven here is the subject or the antecedent. Let's try to fix the sink. Let's is a contraction for let us. Us is the personal pronoun, which is the antecedent. What could be the reflexive pronoun? Ourselves is not right. 
I will call the painters. Who's calling the painters? It's I. Don't slip and hurt. Uh, this could be a number of people. This is referring to you. It's not said in the sentence. You are the antecedent. Finally, he got... He's the antecedent. He got something into, tru into big trouble. The little dog managed to open the door. Dog is the noun or the antecedent. Reflexive pronoun goes here.